Hey everybody, this is John with Sweet Memories Cooking. Welcome to What's for Dinner. Today we're going to talk about Patty and John's Chili with a Kick. Well, you know, everybody has their own chili recipe, and Patty had hers, and I had mine, and I basically put them together, and this is what you get, is what we're going to share with you today. Now, I think most of you know that Sweet Memories Cooking was created by my sister Patty and I just to share our our fun and love of cooking with family and friends. And so we did that and now we're extending out and we're sharing it with the rest of you. So I hope you enjoy this. And there's a few pictures of us in the kitchen. You'll always find us um, up to something. And let's get talking about this chili. So this looks like a ton of ingredients, but um, it's really a lot of spices. And what we'll do is, don't worry about writing this down, what I do with the recipes is I, I put them in their entirety on our Facebook page right underneath this posting so you can just print it out or refer to it there. But anyways, I'll run through what we got going here. So you need some vegetable oil. For this particular recipe, I used a pound and a half of lean ground beef, half a pound of ground pork, um, an onion, and then here's here comes all the spices. We've got chili powder and parsley and cayenne and cinnamon. Um, crushed red pepper flakes, bay leaf, there's garlic in there, garlic powder. We even put in some red wine and tomato paste. Crushed tomatoes, salt, dark brown sugar, semi-sweet chocolate morsels. I know it's kind of weird, but it really adds a kick, that chocolate flavor. And then one can each, I think they're the 14 ounce cans of black beans, cannelli beans, and red beans. And then I drain those and rinse them really well. If you can get ones with low sodium or, or no salt, those are really good. I was able to find um, the carrots and the corn. Those are the smaller cans with no salt. And I just rinse them off really good and set those aside. Well, let's get started. Um, as always, I like to lay out all my ingredients so it's, re it's handy when I need it. But what you start to do is you take that uh, vegetable oil in a large pot over medium heat and you're going to brown the beef and the pork really well. Then I, I take that out, um, drain off most of the fat, just leave just a little teeny bit because that's what you're going to use to cook the onions in. So I throw the onions in there, I, so I've set the ground beef aside, throw the onions in there with the chili powder, parsley, cayenne, cinnamon, red pepper flakes, and a bay leaf. And now I cook and stir until the onions are really soft. Then I add garlic powder, the garlic, tomato paste. I stir that together. Then add the wine and I cook it for two minutes. At that point, I'll put the hamburger back in. And I'll just let that go for a couple of minutes. And then finally add the crushed tomatoes, the salt, the brown sugar, and the chocolate to the pot. So it's going to look like this. Now I let this go. I bring it to a boil. Then I reduce it down to a simmer. And I leave it loosely covered. And this will cook for a good hour. You stir it occasionally just to keep it from sticking. Then what I do is I add the beans and the corn and... Um, the carrots and I return it to a simmer and I let that go for about 45 minutes so just like it says as after you add the beans simmer for 45 minutes at that point you're done you know I made this for uh, Super Bowl Sunday and what I did is I made it the day before just you know just like I described here then I let that cool down, put it in the refrigerator overnight. In about four hours before our party, I took the pot of chili out and I let it come to room temperature just on the stove. Then I put it in the crock pot and turned that on. I turned it on to high and let that all come to temperature. And I got to tell you, it was delicious and there was not much left. Let me show you the final product. Now, when we serve this, we always serve it with... Um, sour cream, more chopped onions and cheese, and some crusty bread on the side. It is really, we always say it's really a crowd pleaser, and it was delicious. I can tell you there wasn't much left. So how can you get this recipe and where can you find us? Well, go out to Facebook and search for Sweet Memories Cooking, and you'll find our group. And if you're not a member, go ahead and join, and then you'll get access to this and and all the other uh, podcasts and recipes that we have out there. So you'll find this 
podcast as well as the recipe right underneath it. Then on our website, sweetmemoriescooking.com, you'll not only find the podcast and the recipes, you'll also see links to our videos. Patty and I have a YouTube channel where you can actually see us, you know, cooking together. And then we've got newsletters out there, additional recipes. There's a link to our cookbook. We've written two cookbooks right now. Um, at this point and those are available if you want to purchase them in hard copy and then if you want a digital version of the Sweet Memories cookbook that's all the uh, pastries and cookies you can download that by going to Amazon.com and searching on Jafaldi. So like I always say at the end of every one of these podcasts pass up that drive through spend a little bit of time in your kitchen creating some sweet memories of your own start that today and really enjoy that time with family and friends. Until next time, take care.